Welcome to my video comparison when it comes to lead pages versus ConvertKit. This should be pretty simple and straightforward. Usually comparisons are going to be about which one's going to be the best. However, these software tools are pretty different. While there's going to be some overlap, which I'll talk about, ConvertKit is primarily about email marketing and doing things such as sending emails and automation. As you can see here, email marketing, email designer automations, integrations, a few other things when it comes to earning a living, but the overlap's going to be when it comes to landing pages. Before I continue to the landing page aspect. I will say that if you're interested in just email marketing and primary primarily email marketing, ConvertKit is probably going to be the tool you want to use in this comparison. However, on the other hand, if you're primarily looking for landing pages and creating landing pages that convert in a very simple fashion, lead pages is definitely going to be the software tool you're going to want to go with. With that being said, lead pages is pretty damn good when it comes to creating landing pages. They have a ton of templates and a lot of different niches for businesses, depending on your platform, who you're selling to. And one thing I really like about them is that you can actually sort them by the conversion rate. So all these at the top are going to be some of the highest converting. And ironically enough, they're going to be very simple. Even better, their drag and drop editor is pretty good. I've used it many times. I've tested it out. I've reviewed it. I like it. It is overall going to be much better than what ConvertKit has to offer. While at the end of the day, ConvertKit isn't all about landing pages. It is nice that they have a few in case you want to utilize them with your email marketing. But in my opinion, lead pages is going to be much better given the fact you get a lot of cool tools and perks and features such as like their pop-up bars, uh, the sticky bars that hang out at the top of the page, which I think are called alert bars. Those are a great ways to really increase your conversions. Aside from that, lead pages does come with other few great perks. Let's talk about it when it comes to the standard. They start at $49 per month. With that, you can also create a website, which is a very nice perk for a lot of people that I know. Another great thing is that you get unlimited traffic, leads, landing pages, pop-ups, and alert bars. So you're never restricted on the number that you want to create. Get free hosting, some notifications, a lot of integrations. And plus, if you wanted to utilize both of these, you can actually use lead pages for all your landing pages, and you can integrate with ConvertKit for your email marketing. So if you want to get the best of both worlds, you can use lead pages for your landing pages. And then of course, convert kit for your email marketing. Let's move back over here. If you want the most popular plan, which is going to be $99 per month, you now get three sites, you get a few other things, and now you get A-B split testing and online sales and payments. This pretty much allows you to add like a checkout page where you can purchase with Stripe or PayPal, whatever it's going to be. As it says, make sales, accept recurring payments, and deliver digital products from any web page, landing page, or pop-up with lead pages, checkouts powered by Stripe. So it's just Stripe. I'm not sure if you can integrate with PayPal as well, but I know Stripe is good. Uh, continuing on the ConvertKit, let's talk about their pricing. They now have the free plan, which is going to be free for up to 300 subscribers. You do get some landing pages and forms, sending email broadcast, and a few other things. From there, depending on if you're paying monthly or yearly, obviously you can save more when it comes to year you're looking at $15 per month for up to 300 subscribers. And of course, that's going to increase the more subscribers that you need as you drag the bar here and go on up from there. So all in all, this is a very simple comparison like I talked about before. If you want just landing pages, go with lead pages. They are fantastic at it compared to ConvertKit. That's what they're all about. And it's expected that they're going to be better in that platform. I will put a link down below. They come with a free trial so you can always test them out. Then on the other hand, if you're just looking for email marketing, ConvertKit is a great place to get started. Uh, not only do they have a free trial, they have the free plan where you get the maximum of a thousand subscribers, unlimited landing pages and forms, and a few other things where you can at least test them out and make sure that they're going to be perfect for you. Once again, I will also put a link down below if you'd like to get started for free for them. So that is the comparison when it comes to convert kit versus lead pages. I really hope that helped you out. Any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's about it. Thank you for watching and enjoy.